you know, safety is really part of operational excellence. A company that has a high injury rate, or even a lot of injuries, not necessarily a high rate, it's a sign of the absence of operational excellence. Labor is being wasted, materials being wasted, and companies that want to be top performers, have loyal workers and high profits, have to take safety seriously in a very different way. Safety has to be part of their DNA. It's got to be what they do. Safety is, in fact, a value proposition. That this, this idea that, you know, that if you have less safety, or you can, you can manage your safety costs and you can keep them down, that will keep your, make your profits go higher. There is no evidence of, of that. In fact, there are a number of studies that show the opposite. When you review the literature, you could see that companies that actually do safety right are globally competitive. Safety has to be seen as part of operations. And some of the folks here are saying, how do I get out of that? How do I make sure our CEO and the board of directors understands the role of safety in management, in controlling production? Safety is a sign of good management. The best example I saw of that was at, um, in the VPP program. The Hasbro company had the last game manufacturer in the United States. But Hasbro, in a unionized plant in East Longmeadow, Massachusetts, stayed here. Now, I asked the vice president of, of Hasbro at the time, and he said it was because of the VPP program that they managed so much better that they could compete with the Hasbro operations in China, and there was never a reason to move them out of Massachusetts. And there are lots of examples of that. If you talk to CEOs in, you know, of ExxonMobil and some of the other, of Alcoa, um, they will tell you that, that they, they are better companies because of this, because they manage for safety. They, they, they don't make safety a priority, they say safety is what we do. I think the strongest argument is this idea that this is operational excellence. If you really want to be a globally competitive company, this is what you have to do.